So far, we've done a lot of work. We've finished South Street, as people can see. Um, we're right now finishing up Kaya Almar. Orange Street, we can say, is almost 75% finish. And all these three streets have been cemented. Um, yesterday, I was with the mayor and we visited Holy Emanuel Street. The, we met with the contractor. He said by the end of the week, the tar should be out there. And so within the next week and a half, in the entire stretch of Holy Emanuel, with its, where it meets Lacroix Boulevard, going all the way to the Western Highway, that entire stretch should be paved. Um, <clears throat> we also have Daly Street, which I believe is being worked on. We're waiting for Wasa to complete their groundwork there. And just yesterday, we met with Belize Water Services, and they they approved us to do um, Queen Street. So all the groundwork is supposed to go into Queen Street, and I believe this week, by the end of the week, bids should go out for contractors to submit for the works on Queen Street. Okay, and what's the difference between the paving and the cementing? Which streets are, are being selected for cementing and which ones for paving and why? We're looking at, first of all, cost, of course. It is more expensive to cement a street than to pave. Um, but we're looking at also the use of the street, how trafficable it is, how many ta how who uses it, the type of vehicles that use the street, and those are the considerations that go in as Orange Street, we fixed Orange Street, I believe it was two, three years ago, and right. everyone see what happens, um, saw what happened there. So we decided to cement it due to the heavy flow of traffic that goes through, not only um, cars, but you're talking about buses, delivery trucks, and different equipment go through that street every day. So based on, the, we looked at all of that, we took that into consideration, and that's where we, where we decided what to pave, what to cement. You have some streets that are in, in urgent need of attention, like Crank Street leading to Slaughterhouse Road and, and other streets, um, even not directly in downtown area, but they are in urgent need. Well, I know Crown Street, the discussion we had with the mayor yesterday, Crown Street is on the list of possibly, I think after Queen Street, it should be Crown Street to be fixed. Okay. So you have a series more? Well, we have a lot of streets. Um, right. We did a comprehensive, uh, the, when the mayor did, when we launched the 100 day plan, as the councillors can remember, we had a map out with all the streets and we graded them based on the work we thought that need, needed to go into each street. And based on that, we picked the streets that needed the most attention first and those are the streets that we're looking at. How much money is being spent on this? Well, is well, the first facility, the council acquired a loan from Heritage Bank okay. for a million dollars and that's where the first amount of work went, to, went into with that million dollars. So the, council, the public can see with a million what all we were able to do with all the streets that are being fixed. Um, we're looking to acquire another million dollars to finish the work and to implement new works for the council and for the residents of Belize City. Okay, so altogether, do you have like a, a, a set amount of streets that you're looking at? We're looking at total? About, about 14 to 15 streets total on the, this first stage. Okay. Um, that's why we're trying to have this bond and we're really pushing for it because with that, eight, with that 20 million that should come in within those years, we're looking to rehabilitate and fix almost every street in the city. But for this first 2 million that we have, these are the main streets we picked, uh, what we can afford and what we can handle and due to the traffic and the condition of the street.